What's up guys? This is Joel Robert. Um, just wanted to get a little diatribe out of the way here before I actually start releasing and letting people know what kind of stocks I get into and how I do my trading and different strategies that I use to invest. Um, so there's one thing a lot of people like to try to ride coattails of big name investors and you can you can pull down a lot of big name investors track records and what they're trading like three months after they put it in it's a 13 f is the name of the form that they have to send into the sec and it can kind of give people a heads up like this is the stocks that this person is trading it could be like a big hedge fund runner or an, another type of big trader in the world like a holding company kind of like warren buffett you can actually see what the stocks he's investing in within a few months of him investing in them. He doesn't actually have to release them unless it's something that he owns uh, over 10% of, then he actually has to release it every time when it happens. Um, also, besides that, um, there could be people that know how to invest. And I had talked to a group of people on investing and a lot of times they'll try to ask me, uh, what, what stocks are you invested in? What kind of, what kind of companies are you using? What, what kind of tips could you give me to invest in a company? Um, that's all well and good to ask and find out what a company is, but you should never really go ahead and try to invest in a company if you haven't done your own due diligence. Because if you are investing in a company that you heard from somebody else is a good company, even a huge big name person like Warren Buffett, if you invest in this company, why are you investing in it? What is the price that you think is where you want to get into it and you think it's a good value and you're going to want to buy it at this price? Do you actually have all this stuff figured out in your own mind? Because if you buy something and then that person that, that you got inspired to buy this company from, um, if they feel it's time to get out of that company, how are you going to know that it's time to get out? If you can't get out at the right time and you lose your money, are you now going to lose faith in that investor? Maybe they got in for totally different reasons than you did. Maybe they knew something that you didn't know. You need to take all of this stuff into consideration and the, the, the breadth of the stock market pretty much has plenty of different companies out there that you can invest in, make good money in. I may never want to invest in these companies, but I'm still going to be able to make my money with my own companies and totally different companies. Um, so if you do want to copy someone else's companies, that's great. Do your due diligence and just figure out if that company is fits your needs and wants for uh, what you're trying to get out of the investment. If you're trying, if you, then you should always know what kind of price you're getting in. On top of that, what price are you expecting to get out? Like if you find a company that's 50% off, that's great. Are you gonna get out of it at 100%? Are you gonna get out of it at 120%? Are you gonna sell options on it? When it gets to say 95% and you can sell options to the 120%. So that way, if you get these calls that you would sell there, if they get triggered, you're going to be selling it for 120% of what you think the value of the company is. So if you've got like a Roth IRA, like I like to play in, um, you can go ahead and get out of the company, sell it, make your profit, and then wait for the, pro the, the stock to drop again and get back into the lower price. There's no tax ramifications for the, the Roth IRA. So that's my little way of cheating. And I think that's a good way for most people to get into it. But anyways, just wanted to give a little heads up on what I think before I actually start getting into releasing what kind of companies I'm into, what kind of profits I've made in the past. Um, again, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have your fiduciary interests in mind when I make my decisions. These are all my choices. They could be totally wrong. So this is not telling you that you should invest in this company or not, or whatever I'm talking about, but it's all for educational purposes. Hopefully you can learn these things that it took me a really long time to figure out. And I'm, I figured it out now. Hopefully it will help you in the future and have a great day guys.